Hey my legion, how y'all doing today? This is my second ever Cajun cooking video on this channel. And a very special thank you to Mr. Kronstein for getting this etouffee mix for me. I really appreciate this. And I hope you like this uh, Cajun cooking video, Mom Papa's etouffee. Hey my legion, how y'all doing today? I'm back with another cooking video and this is Mom Papa's... I had pronounced me... Uh, Please forgive me if I pronounce that name wrong. Original etouffee. I know that's how that's pronounced right there. It's a mix. And what you need is a uh, type of meat. And I'm going to use chicken. And uh, I pre-cooked this, but I got, I'm going to saute it too when it's cubed. Cause I, I used up all the chicken I have in my uh, freezer now, which is good with the chicken salad and with this too. Need that. Uh, you need a cup and a half of water right there. And I've had this uh, measuring cup since I was a kid, you know. And uh, the holy trinity of Cajun cooking, that's celery, uh, green onion, and I got half of a bell pepper. And I got a whole ton of, I'm going to use up all the bell pepper and the green onion. That's, and the celery too, if I, if I need more celery, I got a ton of it. So I'll use more celery. You got some uh, butter, I got some country crotch. Uh, country crock. I say country crotch. <laughs> uh, need a third of a thing of tomato sauce and uh, some rice I got what I usually get is I get the boil in the bag rice and I got all this stuff from uh, the vegetables the uh, sauce and uh, rice all from Surefine and I got uh, chicken from Walmart I think and this I got from Sam's Club so please join me for the video and uh, I'm going to get ready to saute the chicken I hope you like the cooking video. Okay, what I'm going to do first before I saute the meat, I'm going to saute the veggies because these kind of need cooked. Uh, I mean, the meat's already pre-cooked, but I'm going to saute the meat, like I said, for five minutes. So I'm going to do the vegetables first, then I'm going to do the meat. And you see it's sauteing pretty well. Starting with this spatula. I've had this spatula since, for a long time, since I was a kid, too. I need to cut those. The celery a little bit better. That's my fault. And season the taste. Yeah, it's cooking really good. And this smells fantastic in here. Like that smell you get if you go to the fair, wherever they grill, like uh, oh the peppers and onions for a hot sauce. It smells fantastic. It smells just like the Albion Fair. Okay, I'm going to set this aside and get the meat ready to saute in the butter. Okay, while I'm waiting for the chicken to saute, I wanted to give a special thank you to Mr. Cronstein for sending this to me. Awesome says uh, product Louisiana certified and on the back it says uh, there's no doubt that this is a French dish developed by uh, creative French cooks in New Orleans world has it that Governor Vineville sent his cook to teach the French ladies in New Orleans to use the local produce fish and game available in the area and like I said I went ahead and used up uh, yeah, seafood this, but I, I, I went ahead and added, uh, used up all the chicken I had for the chicken salad and for this. And, uh, cool. Uh, it says, the uh, original New Orleans style entree since 1972. My grandmother, Mom Papa, was known for her culinary skills and hospitality. She could always be counted on to great, uh, greet unexpected guests with a warm embrace and one of her Cajun Creole specialties. These authentic New Orleans style entrees are now available in, in convenient, easy to prepare packages. Just minutes from stove top to tabletop. From uh, Nancy Wilson, the founder of Mom Papa's. And here's the, here's the mix right here. I'm going to add whenever everything's done. All right. I'm going to go back and check out the sautéing chicken. Okay, I'm sautéing the chicken now, and I wanted to thank Mr. Cronstein again for being kind enough to send me that mix. And also my sister for sending me all these 
pots and pans because it helps out a lot. You know, especially, you know, with everything that's happened and stuff like that, you know. It means a lot to me. And, uh, I'm listening to, uh, the metal channel. I made sure it turned down because, you know, with music on YouTube, you never know. And I, I will say one thing. I got a whole bunch of dishes to do. But that's all right. That's why I'm doing these over the weekend. And sometimes it takes me a while to do the cooking video. So, you know, when I have time off, I'm able to do these. I'm still on my vacation. I'm still enjoying it. It's just, you know, in a way it kind of sucks going back to work. But you know how it is. I'll be back with, uh, when, these, when this is done sauteing, I'll be back with the other stuff that the SFA to make. Okay, I just added the uh, one and a half cup, one and a half cups water with the etouffee mix, and I have to let this boil, and then uh, cover it and let it simmer for 15 minutes. Okay, it's boiling now. I got to reduce the heat and cover it and let it simmer for 15 minutes. Okay, I added the back the meat and the vegetables and it said bring back to her boil. It didn't say how long to cook it now. I'm going to give it another five minutes. And that'll be it. And I'm making the rice in a separate thing right now. I'm going to have a lot of dishes to do, but that's all right. Thank you, Mr. Kronstein, for sending me this. And whenever I'm done with everything and the rice and stuff, I'll be back with a review. And hopefully everything will be good. I'm sure it will be. And like I said, I added the tomato sauce too. Yeah, the meat's done. I'm just ready for uh, getting ready to uh, cook the rice, ready for the water to boil. And this uh, this saucepan I had since I was a kid too. I'm glad I still have some of this stuff. Brings back memories. Okay, I'm making a success boil in a bag of rice, and this takes 10 minutes to make. And then after that, I'll be able to do a review of uh, whoa for, of the etouffee with everything on it. Thank you Mr. Kronstein. I'm back with the stay tuned. I'll be back with a review. And here's the finished product of the steamed rice from uh, Success Born uh, in a bag of white rice. Let me move this out of the way get a little more light. And um, I got that rice from Surefine. And this is a finished etouffee with uh, chicken and uh, Cajun uh, and well, tomato sauce and the Cajun uh, Holy Trinity, which is uh, red bell pepper, I mean green bell pepper, green onion, and uh, celery. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. And I got the coffee too. I used up the rest of my uh, Chase Sanborn coffee I had. Alright, gonna try. Wow, that is really, really good. Lots of rich, spicy flavor. Mm. And those vegetables, it really helps. It's really good. Thank you very much, Mr. Kronstein, for sending this to me. Wow have some coffee too. And the coffee's in my Saturday Night Live, uh, oh Saturday Night Live mug. I don't know if anyone remembers uh, Middle Age Men. Look at my gut, aren't you? Well, I'm working on it. It just takes longer because I'm Middle Age Man. Wow, this is really good. Thank you, Mr. Kronstein, for sending this to me. And thank you, Joey, for sending me those pots and pans too. This is really good. I'm going to try with that. Uh, Celery. Mm. And try some with the chicken and everything. Mm. It's delicious. I give the uh, Mamba Paws etouffee with chicken and Cajun uh, Holy Trinity 10 out of 10 and the rice too Fantastic. thank you again Mr. Cronty for sending this to me this was awesome so, and the coffee is good too I think I reviewed this before the coffee is a 10 out of 10 too 
Wow. So until next time, everybody, please take care of my allegiance. Oh, and that was only some of the etouffee I made. Look at it, all the rest. I'm going to have leftovers big time. With the chicken salad in this, wow. Big time leftovers and big time dishes to make, but that's alright. I hope you liked this cooking video, everybody. Take care, everyone.